Hello there, it's me, Sorry here again, and today I'm here to give you an update of what I have been doing since I finished the, or left you with the making of this album or calendar. And when you saw me last, or this last, I had only put this checker uh, duct tape around the page page but then I decided on actually going a bit wild with different kinds of washi tape and I wanted to keep it cohesive with red and on the back side I actually went for a little bit of black as you can see and as you can see I do like red white and uh, black tapes as well as other colors of course so what I did so far I actually did put some tape here and there just to give it some roughness and I also put uh, plastic dividers uh, which I put some washi tape on. I put in a photo and I also decorated that one with a bit, a bit of tape just in order to get it, uh, to give it some more strength uh, when it's going to be flipped and flopped back and back and forth like so. And then I started writing with various of colors. I did some stamping and I put some more washi tapes but as I went along, I just felt like this was going to be too small. This wasn't absolutely what I wanted. So I decided on actually going for a bigger size. But I just wanted to show you these dividers. These are really nice, I must say. These are made of, out of plastic. I did the punching of the holes and then I just cut them open so I can put them in here or perhaps in another project if I would like to. So I'm going to keep this book as a reminder of... Um, how I started off and uh, well let's move on then I went for a bigger size as I told you in this case an A4 size and as you can see I've also put a lot of washi tape on the front I started off with those checkerboard tapes, duct tapes, and I did that on the back side as well. And then I went ahead using some of my black and white or red and white washi tapes. And I do like how it looks. It's a really, it's absolutely a, a let's say, a unique calendar. I don't think, nobody's got one of these, I must say. I did the same thing with the hidden binding. I put some black duct tape on a piece of white paper and I actually did put the tape on both the inside and on the outside and um, then I glued it on on that extra hinge and as it when I come to the inside you can see that I've put on some tape even here I did follow the same procedure really with this checkerboard and some of the washi tapes that I have and I also did add on some other tapes that I've got here in my stash. So finally I actually get to use these things. This is a piece of tape that I found in a Danish store, which actually is here in Sweden. It's called Tiger or TGR. This one says nothing more than stop, 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 stop. Whilst this one here has a moustache. And then I've got the skulls over here on the whoops daisy there they went on that side there so it was fun to actually be able to get them make up make them come to use in this project and uh, when it comes to washi tapes and such I do like them I have loved them for a long time but I haven't really known what to do with them so in this case when I have started before I did the holes you see I actually did put some wash a stripe of washi tape on every every page just on one side because I, be I believe that is enough when it comes to giving the page some more strength and here I've got a leftover piece from the other calendar uh, on which I actually started putting on some leftover pieces of washi tape so in this case if I were to feel like putting on a piece of washi tape somewhere I could just take, take it from this plastic piece here so I did make this a double sided and I did go for a bigger size. Let's see if I can have something that I haven't written anything on. Well here I kept the spread a full length like that so I have lots of room to do some writing and I also made some 
uh, ideas for what to write about in every box. So when it comes to having stuff to do, I could just do go to the post office or do something with the car or the finances or just meet friends and such. When it comes to food or health or my soul or just crafts, I could have different kinds of topics that I could actually go for. But I don't have to. I could just have that as a guideline. And then when it comes to these flaps, I actually slaughtered another let's say five topic uh, college uh, or notebook which had these pockets <clears throat> already with the holes and everything and they also have pockets so if i would like to collect things i'm sure i could do that in those pockets actually and you can see that it's really easy to just take these back since they are made out of plastic i'm not that afraid of actually taking them out and putting them back and just to keep this book cohesive with the washi tapes and everything, I decided on putting a different um, <clears throat> pattern on every flap. Uh, but I did keep it black and white because I just know that I had some red and different kinds of colours in the background here. I didn't want them to, to get lost in the background, as, as you can see here. And, as it were, I actually did put in quite a few blank pages, so I can do some doodling perhaps, or just do some diary journaling or such. And, uh, well, I'm pretty pleased with this. And I also have this kind of a pocket here, which I also found in one of those uh, notebooks. So, I do feel like this is the way to go, really. Sometimes I have to make the same project once or twice, just to know what I want. Perhaps the next time, I have had some time to think about this since I made it. Perhaps next time I will. Since I did put this uh, tape, I did put a white piece of paper here first because I wanted the whiteness to pop out more. Whilst on this one I'm just keeping the craft in the background. Of course I can still see that it's sort of white, but it isn't as white as it is here. And I did use two pieces of chipboard on these, and if I wanted to, I'm sure I could make some sort of a flap here, and um, gluing it in, in between those, and just covering it up with some black duct tape, just to make it durable and sturdy. And then I could also put some Velcro here and on the other side perhaps. So I could just have some kind of a closing mechanism. Perhaps I don't even need to have it a complete width. Perhaps I could just have it as a buckle here. So that's my next thought for a project similar to this, I suppose. And uh, well, when it comes to decorating, of course, I could go for just various of pens. Let's see. I did a run through or check through my pens which I actually had since before. Of course I can't resist buying some new pens here and there but having had these pens for years I'm actually really glad that I'm able to get them to get the <coughs> start using them finally. So some of them are sort of ink pens with a color, some of them are marker pens and uh, well there are some regular ink pens as I told you oh, yeah, as well. And uh, so I'm keeping them in, in a bag like that because <coughs> the benefit of this is actually that I'm able to flatten it out when I'm taking it with me in my backpack. What else can you decorate your book with? Well, I'm sure you've got lots and lots of uh, either stamped motifs that you have coloured or everything. Perhaps if I were to go to a music concert or something, I could see myself gluing this one down. Just look at her, really cute down there in the corner. And, uh, well, I just have to decide on what to do with it. Then I found that I had bought some of these uh, some while ago. These are note tabs. They are tabs that you can do some notes on and they are removable. So let's say I were to feel like making a note here, still leaving the text visible underneath. I could go for just making a mark important just to highlight that, but not actually destroying the thing underneath. And if I wanted to, I could just keep this or just move this. So in this case, it could be a really smart idea to just have something that says important. These come in various sizes. I just found them when they were on a sale. 
and I didn't really know what to do with them, but I bought them anyway. You know, that's me. And then I see that I have found some stickers that I have bought years and years ago. And we've got a store called Lagerhaus. And in this case, I found these beautiful owls some years ago, and I haven't had the heart to sell them or just get rid of them. So I might as well start using them here. And these are some uh, fake postmarks that I have uh, saved, or I haven't really started using them. Here are some stickers of Elvis and Marilyn Monroe. Here are some travel theme stickers. I've got some speech bubbles. This is also from the same store, T Tiger. And I could actually ink these up around the edges if I wanted to. I could do some stamping on them. I could just do some journaling on them. And then there are some smash book decorations. I mean, these are um, like notepad. What the, those sticky. Oh my goodness, what, what is it called now? You know, with the repositionable glue and everything. So I'm thinking I could use these as well just to brighten things up. I also found these actually in my stash. It's from the same store, Lagerhaus. And these are funky looking girls and boys going to school. And here are some more owls. And perhaps you could use your word stickers or your rub ons, perhaps. I found this one, then I thought, well, perhaps I might rub these on. And you could also go wide with your Dymo machine and various colours of Dymo bands. So I'm sure I'll be having lots of fun if I decide on actually sticking the, to this. I'm going to challenge myself to try to use this book as much as I can. And I'm going to try to find um, my way around journaling. Because I'm not the one that actually likes to last. I mean, I just I get an idea. And I stick to it for a day or two, and then I just get a new idea. I have, I'm having a hard time sticking to it and actually completing a task from start to the end. So I'm going to give this a go anyway. I'm going to give it a go. So, <clears throat> and especially here, if I'm going to do some personal writing and such, or just doodling or zentangle or whatever I want to do. So I have the possibilities anyway. And uh, as for sure, an original book. Let me just finish off with these duct tapes that I have found. <clears throat> we have st finally started getting some nice looking uh, duct tapes here in Sweden. We haven't had these for not that long. We've had the black and the white and the silver of course, but um, finally I've started seeing zebra print and even uh, camouflage prints and everything. But these are the things that I fancied when I went to the store last week. So I can hear my voice starting to crack up. Perhaps I need to sign off right now. I hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.